And welcome back to Fall New Vegas. So I've just been to fight Mobius and discover he's actually not the villain. So I need to do the complete old world estate. Oh come on. So I need to go back over here to get something. What's your place I need to catch there? Put on the map, so to speak. Alright, so a couple places on the map here I need to just fill in. Pieces have I found in, in Big M2? I mean, most of them now. I will be very annoyed if there's going to be just one left that I can't find. Knowing my luck, that's exactly what will happen. Z38 Light. Wave Dynamics Research. Whoa. I'll have a look at that later. Oop. Navigation. So it is. Seeking done. Fighting now. Fucking Night Stalker! I found that VATs can be a bit unreliable with these manually operated weapons like this. Just me. I could also just be trying to play my tools because I'm a bad workman and all that. More of that. Now we need to go. There's probably a bunch of places around here that I've missed, but back into X8. Fucking goddamn night stalkers. Oh, for Christ's sake. Do I have any mines I can place down? Frag mine. Oh, come on, bats! Bats, can you please just aim already? This thing is so annoying. Okay, I'm going to try something a bit crazy now. Stealth boy. Oh, 
Um. Point blank semi also sniper shots do the job way better. Maybe I should have bothered getting those automatic weapons. Well, I am not doing that immediately. Will help. Release unusual specimen. You're my best friend forever. Why does this smell like it's going to be awful? Why do I smell Night Stalkers? Of course. Ready? Steady. Cessation of hostilities complete. I see no reason not to do it this way. I need to go upstairs. I hope it doesn't hurt too bad. We don't have any medics. This is actually doing pretty this well. Looks pretty tough. Of course, I do have to go somewhere else. I am Lord of this institution, where once, long ago, I was a student here. Now, I am its omnipotent God Principal, as I assume the Lord of the Big Mountain, to be to... Do you hear that? It is my trumpet of victory! What is this guy on? Finally, a chance to use this. Gosh.
The marshland compound both have Eight night stalkers. I know I've said this before, but maybe the old world need needed to die if this is the sort of shit it came up with. So shooting gets four, scheming gets three, Where do I need to go? So I need to go upstairs. Those turrets did nothing to stop the Night Stalker. Stalkers. Hmm. You know, I was going to start out doing just cowboy weapons when I start this playthrough, but I think that's long since dead. Or maybe I need to just upgrade to the brush gun. I mean, I've got the battle caps for it next time. Breaking done. Fighting now. of hostilities complete. Almost up another level. There. More night stalkers around. Would you just aim? Ah. I hate night stalkers. I anything to actually put up my leg with? No, I don't. Over. Night Stalkers. So when I get back to the advanced test, oh. when I go back to the Mojave. I think I'm going to change to the um. What you call it? 
Rush gun or medicine stick. Cell carbon is starting to still has its uses, it's just maybe it's just maybe it's just the fact that the nice stokers are absolute in the forest to deal with. I am so going to regret this, aren't I? How much damage am I even doing with this? So, no, 62 per rush shot and DPS is 102 with this. Slightly more. Was that all? Uh-oh. Well, I may as well start getting specking into this a little bit more. Yeah, I might need to start speaking to um beach for some skill checks. Yes. Something weighs two or or less, weighs half as much. And that applies to individual units. So it's for say one round of three oh eight. Well, that way, half as much. Sneaking done. Fighting now. Right, I need to go upstairs. All clear. Bad guys dealt with. You are in the Time to fight. Was that all? I think it's time I use another one of these. Yeah, 
Being with the fight. Being with them this way is a lot more cathartic. How am I missing them at this range? Cessation of hostilities complete. I said it would be more cathartic, but that would rely on me actually being able to hit the little bastards. Here's a drinking game suggestion. Take a shot every time I say I hate as doors or night soakers or something like that. Or how many times I swear at them. Actually, on second thoughts, don't do that. You might ruin your liver. For now, this is more around the corner. Will you just... <laughs> yeah, now my leg is banjaxed. Might be worth getting the adamantium skeleton perk next time. Either? Dr. Klein or Dr. Boros? Neither. I don't swing it anyway. Some armor here last time. Probably, but I don't. I have to go through this again. Thank fuck that is Ooh. Extra damage against Night Stalkers. That is gonna be really, really cathartic. Of course, I'm in no shape to actually do anything with it, so... World Blues. Christ's sake, there's... I... Nice if I could just get these guys to stop attacking, and I'm 
I am signing with Mobius. Right. Do you require some additional services? There. Let's fix up my legs. Now. The commies have eyes everywhere, citizen. Battle Brewer. Yeah, I haven't actually tried this yet. And that healing powder. What do I need for healing pulstice? That will fix up my legs as well. A bunket. Nope, just mutant. Not just commies. Well, hello. Right. Do I go do this now? I'm going to do a full save because I'm not in any mood to go out to redo this again. All the way back there. I think it's time I finished off, off the tank thing. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> Lighting changed. Hello, Dr. Clay. The lobotomite returns. Our lobotomite. Has Dr. Mobius been denominated into scrap metal and voice module parts as we hoped? I found my brain. Now you and I are going to settle things. I recommend watching your tone with me, lobotomite. Now, your brain, hand it over, or we'll extract it again. I'm not handing my brain over. There's some things we should discuss. And what could we possibly have to speak about? You have the brain. With it, we can finally leave this place. I can't. And we have so many questions to ask your brain first. About this Mojave place. A Maybe you should confer with your colleagues first. Nonsense. Confer? Colleagues? Those are two words I do not recognize. Dr. Klein, I must intercept. Please, do not harm the lobotomite. I'm not going to harm it. I'm going to dissect it until it's dead. Why the sudden intersection, Dalla? I cannot stand a breathing, a sweet... Gala, these vocalized pauses are unlike you. What do you care? Fine, uh, you know, this lobotomite is a great sounding board. You respect ideology, right? This one's, well... Silence, Doctor O. This is a think tank decision. Save your... You know what, Fine? Stick a straw in your tank and suck yourself. Long and deep. <laughs> and you know what? I don't like the way you say my name. Never did. It's O. As in, oh, look what I stepped in. I'm proud of it, all right? The lobotomite taught me that. You know what? Forget it, Klein. I hate you. And your theory of brain hill beam oscillation? The shot. How dare you? Brain your beam oscillation was solely my discovery. I expressly told you that and deleted all evidence to the contrary. It's two, eight. Why are you acting like this? You've never refused to. A noble speech, but. There is no room in my vocabulators for f Perhaps you are irradiated with camaraderie radiation. I, for one, can I don't see what is to be gained by throwing another body into our labs. This lobotomite doesn't deserve our knives. 
Why am I even listening to you, fool? And the word chism, which never made any sense. I count as five. Like the mighty human hand, I... Sounds like your maths is wrong. The odds aren't good. Nonsense! The mathematics of this... Hmm... If this were a dem... It's not a democracy, it's a research facility. And over half your colleagues, most of them, dispute your findings. You dare use logic against me? I do. I do. Here's the deal. I'm not gonna surrender. You are. That's no deal at all. There's a whole world beyond the crater, filled with ideas and possibilities. We could have escaped, seen it all for ourselves, tested it, frauded at it, made it squirm. You can still do that, here, quietly, for me. For you? And for science? I have a strange sensation that I would like that. How odd. Very well, partner. The think tank is at your service, as long as you do not destroy us. Well, that went better than I expected. As it had been in the years before the Great War, Big Mountain, the Big Empty, became home to one of the brightest minds of the 23rd century. The courier watched over the Big Empty for years to come, caring for it and keeping its discoveries safe until they were needed to help others. Which had always been Big Mountain's purpose. Past the laboratories and science, it had always been intended as a place to build the future of all mankind. The SYNC Central Intelligence Unit was impressed by the amount of exploration the Courier had undertaken. Facilities believed lost, destroyed, or ones that had simply gotten up and walked to new locations had been rediscovered by its intrepid new master. Internally, the artificial personality debated as to whether it preferred the old management to the new, and concluded that the Courier's thorough approach to research and investigation was admirable and worthy of its respect. Dr. Mobius continued his research undisturbed in the Forbidden Zone. As much as he had attempted to create better scorpions, he tried the same with humanity, with considerably less success. These failures didn't bother him over much. Once the rush of Mentats wore off, he forgot he had failed in any event. After all, the bright young mind who had come to visit him in the Forbidden Zone had already exceeded his expectations. The sink atop the dome bustled with the voices of a small town, constantly chirping, arguing, and snarling at each other. Still, this all happened productively in the interests of its new owner. The sink Central Intelligence Unit discovered, despite its inversion code, it was comforted by the sense of community the other personalities gave it. The biological research station, obsessed with seeding everything in sight, requested a transfer to the X-22 Botanical Garden, so that it might, in its own words, sensually fertilize the garden's smooth contours. The garden sent back a polite refusal, saying it had prior commitments with a vault it had helped infect before the war. The book shoot continued to devour all seditious materials until it nearly choked on a paperclip. It adamantly maintained it was a Chinese paperclip, and the whole thing had been an elaborately orchestrated assassination attempt. Whatever the reason, it slowed down for a while, carefully appraising each document and clipboard that came to it. The light switches continued to flicker and flicker. This persisted until the day someone dropped a flashlight in the sink, and the two of them united in their hatred of the showboat. One of them eventually transferred to the Lightwave Dynamics plant and began a long, unrequited affair with one of the holograms. 
The scene continued to ruthlessly scrub any particulate matter that came near it. Eventually, it gained access to the Magneto Hydraulics plant and nearly flooded all the big empty in an attempt to scrub the crater clean. Once it learned of the innovative toxins plant, however, it gained new purpose. It sought to develop antitoxins to flush into its drains and counteract the poisons bleeding into the soil. The toaster continued its psychotic spree, reducing all appliances in range to scrap electronics and spare parts. After one of its more psychotic episodes, however, the other sync personalities decided enough was enough and dumped the toaster in a bathtub. Sparking and hissing, the toaster swore its enemies would rue the day when they had bread and no way to toast it. Muggy did his best to collect coffee cups, although in his quest, he accidentally trapped himself in cake spillage. It might have been the end for poor Muggy, except he found it peaceful there, Tidying up the kitchens of the think tank professors back when they had been flesh and bone. Well, except for Dr. O, who was an asshole for having created Muggy <laughs> in the first place. Muggy <clears throat> left O's house deliberately dirty, punishing the dishes and cups that lived there in blind revenge for serving Dr. O. Blind O. Jefferson. With sounds the Corey brought him created a symphonic counter frequency that saved Big Mountain from sonic invasion in 2910. If you didn't hear about it, good. It was rumored by the other personalities that he had a brief fling with the light switches. Although he forgot their names once too often and was soon left in the dark as punishment. Autodoc, always gentle and methodical, kept sewing up the courier in all the right places when the skin split open from repeated wear and tear. The Autodoc was just glad to have purpose again. It heard its simpler brothers and sisters who got shipped to the Sierra Madre bored out of their skulls in that toxic dead city. In time, the Autodoc found a way to deactivate the Y-17 trauma harnesses, releasing the corpses they had held prisoner for almost 200 years. As the courier ran through the X-8 facility multiple times, the computers analyzed the test subject's movements. Rather than performing a superficial observation, they realized the subject barely knew what communism was, or even what a high school was. This confused them for a time, until the facility finally realized that its research had succeeded. So it let its cyber dogs out into the wastes to help protect small communities from physical aggression rather than communist propaganda. Great idea the there. The program in X-13 felt spent, having repeatedly upgraded the stealth suit until it could upgrade it no more. It felt warm, fulfilled, and a bit sluggish. It realized not long after, the stealth suit had left it without so much as a note on the night stand. So the infiltration program sent out robo-brains into the wastes, looking for its wayward technology. It eventually found Repcon HQ and set up a new research center, testing and murdering fiends who kept breaking into the facility. <laughs> the courier, <coughs> organs intact, continued onwards, a little less heavy of step, but with all the organs in the right places, as they should be. After all, brains can develop a life of their own when left to their own thoughts, and the courier's brain was more clever than most. Dr. Klein and the think tank remained alive, unaware of the world outside. They looped through their daily routine, None the wiser about the world beyond. Although perhaps wiser was the wrong word. The world outside belonged to the courier. And if anyone would shape it, well, the courier had already called dibs. There is an expression in the wasteland, old 
world blooms. It refers to those so obsessed with the past, they can't see the present, much less the future, for what it is. They stare into the what was, eyes like pilot lights, guttering and spent, as the realities of their world continue on around them. Science is a long, steady progression into the future. What may seem a sudden event often isn't felt for years, even centuries to come. In the times following the Second Battle of Hoover Dam, however, Old World Blues took on a new meaning. Where once it was viewed as a form of sadness, nostalgia, it became an expression describing the potential for the future. It can be easy to see science as evil, technology unchecked as the source of all ills, all misfortunes. With the courier at the helm, science became a beacon for the future. There was old world blues, a new world hope, and hope ruled the day at Big Mountain. We could say more, but the stories in the Big Empty speak for themselves. Now armed with the transportal ponder, the courier could return to the dome at any time and crack open the secrets of the Big Empty one by one. The sink sat vigilant, waiting for its master to return, shoes covered in Mojave dust. Only one road yet remained, and it was one the courier had to walk alone. Well, that was Old World Blues. He is very enthusiastic. Right, uh, I think I'm going to leave this episode here and then next time, I think I might just return to the Mojave. That's it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.